In this video, we're going to have a look at the practical applications of differentiation and use it to solve a real life problem. So the question says, a cuboid has a volume of eight meters cubed. That's a key bit of information that we're going to highlight. We'll use that in just a second. So we're told that the base of the cuboid is a square with sides of length x meters. The surface area of the cuboid is a meters squared. So let's try and get this information in a diagram. Let's draw a cuboid with a square base. So the best way to draw a cuboid, two overlapping rectangles, same size, then join the corresponding corners together. Like that. Not perfect, but it'll do. And we know that the base is square. And it has length x meters, so x by x. But we don't know the height. So let's call it a different letter. Let's call it h. So going back to the information in the question, it says a cuboid has a volume of 8 meters cubed. So from the diagram, we see that the volume is the base area, x squared, times the height, which is equal to 8. Now we're going to use this formula later to eliminate a variable. We'll see how in just a second. It now talks about the surface area of the cuboid. So trying to get a mathematical expression for that, the surface area equals, well, we'll see there's a surface at the top there, the lid and the base, both of x squared. So the area of that is 2x squared. So x times x for the bottom, x times x for the top, add them together, you get 2x squared. And then there's four surfaces, one, two on the side there, front and back, one, two, three, four. And each of those have area xh, so plus four xh. So plus four xh. Well, that's not the target expression that we're given the question. The question asked us, there it is there, to get two x squared plus 32 over x. We've got this extra variable h which we need to eliminate. Well, we can do that by going to the volume equation. We can rewrite that in terms of h. That means that h equals 8 over x squared. And if we then sub this into there, we get a equals 2x squared plus 4x 8 over x squared equals... 2x squared plus 32 over x when simplified, and that's exactly what we're asked to show. So part 2, find dA by dx. Well, a equals 2x squared plus, and this next term, 32 over x here, we can't get differentiate when it's in that form, we need to write it in index form. So we can rewrite that as 32 x to the power of minus 1, which means that dA by dx equals, now we can differentiate it, 4x minus 32 x to the power of minus 2. Then part 3, find the x value which gives the smallest surface area of the cuboid, justifying your answer. So some key words there, justifying your answer. We'll go through what that means in just a second. But first of all, let's find the value of x which gives the smallest surface area. Well, to find a minimum on such a curve, we need to differentiate, which we've already done, then set the differential to zero. Just like finding the stationary point, this is find the stationary point, but in the context of a practical situation. So we'll get that there. 4x minus 32x to the minus 2 equals zero which implies that 32x to the minus 2 equals 4x. And at this point, I think myself, I really don't like the look of that equation. Solving things with negative indices isn't good. So let's write what it actually means. 32 over x squared equals 4x, which then means that 32 equals 4x cubed. 
which then implies that uh, 8 equals x cubed, which implies x equals 2. So now with x equals 2, we're almost done. It didn't ask us to actually find the smallest surface area. If it did, we would have had to sub that back into formula A, but just said find the value of x which gives the smallest surface area. So we're almost done. But it also asks us to justify our answer. That means use the second differential to actually justify that it really is a minimum surface area. So finding the second differential, d2a by dx squared. Well, that's equal to, if we differentiate this expression here again, we get d2a by dx squared equals 4. Then minus 2 times 32 is positive 64 x to the power of minus 3. Okay, so that means that when x equals 2, i.e. add the minimum surface area, this implies that d2a by dx squared equals 4 plus 64 to the power of minus 3 equals, we'll put in the calculator, we get 12. Then acknowledge that it's greater than 0 therefore a minimum and we've justified it so that's the full question answered for more videos like this go to a or subscribe to our youtube channel